welcome to the video ladies and gentlemen i hope you had a great christmas i know i did spending precious time with my family and my children unwrapping many presents eating many foods but that did mean i was afk for quite a while and i apologize for the lack of content over the last week so for today's video we're going to go over a status update for december 2018 from sumrak creator of namelsk on namelsk itself i will also have the story teaser trailer sumrak released playing in the background as we talk if you haven't noticed there's a submarine and it looks enterable interesting i will also leave a link to the teaser trailer in the description below for you guys to check it out properly now without further ado let's check out what sumrak has to say regarding namelsk where is namelsk well to make things simple it is not ready for release for the past few months i have been focusing mainly on daisy itself and things i do at work for it finishing up churneras taking care of the environmental visuals supporting modding release this usually ends up with overtimes as the December release was getting closer and closer. While I have managed to do a lot over the past months, I am super happy how things have ended up for the release, 1.0. But for Namelsk, it ultimately meant a lot less progress than I would like. You may have heard me saying that the Namelsk terrain is almost ready. This is true, because Namelsk as a terrain is indeed ready and I have not really touched it for many months now. But Namelsk is not only about the terrain. It has a wide selection of gameplay additions and tweaks to really make the terrain stand out from anything that you have seen in DayZ or in fact even armor. On top of that, I am also building a lore continuity as it is a sequel of the original Armor 2 campaign called Namelsk Crisis. I'll leave links to the Namelsk Crisis in the description below so you guys can check it out. But basically, it was a campaign for Armor 2 and Armor 2 combined operations with over 22 missions. I never played Namelsk Crisis myself, but I did put thousands of hours in Namelsk for DayZ mod. Anyways, back to Adam. Once again, I would like to remind you that Namelsk is my own personal project, and I work on it whenever I have free time. In no way should it be considered as an official addition to the game. I haven't given myself any specific deadlines as I want it to be good. I want it to be remembered the same way it is from the DayZ mod days. I have spent a considerable amount of my life on Namelsk, thousands of hours and simply do not want to end up releasing it in an unfinished or work in progress state. So we got the down low there from Sumrak. It's not finished yet, but it will be coming in 2019. So we're getting closer and closer to that Namelsk release, and I'm really looking forward to it, as for those who don't know, Namelsk was one of my favourite, if not my favourite, additions to DayZ Mod, one of the maps that I used to play the most and had the most fun on. Sadly, I didn't have any new exclusives for you, but I have thrown some footage I had laying around of Nuna Namelsk from a previous video. A lot of you guys may have missed that video anyway, so I thought, why not stick it in here too? As soon as Namelsk is in our hands, we will have a server for you day one. Hardcore, first person only, Namelsk, the way it's meant to be played. So keep your eyes and ears peeled on our social pages for information when the time comes. Or jump in our Discord, we're way over 2,000 members now, and anybody is welcome. I'll leave links in the description below for that also. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the amazing support this year. I have a really good feeling 2019 is going to be a good year. So remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you like the content I create, and I'll see you peeps next time.